AMD's FSR technology allows you to upscale images from low resolutions to high resolutions with a bit of sharpening and magic going on. And in this video, we're going to look again at this. We've looked at Magpie before, the utility that allows you to do this for free. But today we're looking at loss of scaling, which is a program that's released on Steam. It costs $3.99 for me to buy. And let's see if it's any good. Okay, so here we are, loss of scaling on the Steam store. There is a free download version, which is a, an older version, so that might be worth giving it a go, but it doesn't cost very much money at all. And yeah, it basically is a similar sort of thing to Magpie, does the same sort of thing, and is used for upscaling. So there it is. And then if we look at how it works, again, it works pretty much in exactly the same way as Magpie. You can hit scale in five seconds, and then you click on the window that you want to upscale, and it will work. It's slightly, obviously, more fully featured than Magpie was at the time that we tested it. You've got the ability to change the scale factor, how much you look scale. Uh, you can just leave it on auto. You've also got the ability to switch your different type of scaling. So there is FSR Lite, which is supposedly better for lower end GPUs, but I tested it to make any difference really for the 3080. And then also you've got the ability to change the sharpening. So I'd recommend if you if you end up getting this, play around with this, find the best settings for you. But just to show you how it works, scale in five seconds, click on the game, after five seconds it will pop to full screen and now this is being upscaled this was at 1080p and now it's been upscaled to 440p let's do some image comparison as always we've got our art corp scene here we've zoomed right in so that even if you're on a smaller screen or a lower resolution screen you hopefully will be able to see something so 4k on the left 4040p on the right this is just as a baseline to see you should see the image clear up quite nicely at 4K compared to 1440p. 1440p still is very good, even zoomed in. But if you look down here at the pixelation on the, whatever that is, piece of metal, uh, or even if you look here at the globe, there's pixelation here that should clear up in 4K, it gets a bit better. And just this sign, it's more detail, less pixelation. But these are both natively 1440p, but then the FSR result has been upscaled to 4K. Now, can you see much difference? The FSR image has got a lot of cloud or fog that's kind of gone in front of it, so it's a bit of a different shade of colour, so kind of ignore that. But I think you'll see that even though it's a bit kind of murkier, maybe because of the cloud, the pixelation has reduced around uh, the sign there, the medical centre sign. And again, down here, you'll see that pixelation has, has improved. So the, you're definitely getting something for upscaling to uh, with S FSR. It's, it's definitely doing something. Uh, and it is an improvement over the native resolution. So in some ways, that's kind of the whole story. If it improves the image quality, we're good with it. Let's just have a quick look at 4K versus FSR. So you'll see it's again, slightly murkier because of the cloud, but you look at the detail here and look at the oranges here. You lose some with the FSR, but ultimately it's not far off. Let's look at some benchmarking and I've just chosen quantum travel because it's probably the best area of the game to demonstrate GPU bottlenecking and you'll see here with the 4K versus the FSR a big increase in performance. It's at 4K and then the FSR is upscaled from 1440p to 4K and at 4K it's completely pegged the GPU which is a 3080 it's completely maxed out and then with the FSR result at 1440p it's nearly there but it's just under being completely maxed out on the GPU but you see a huge increase in frames and, and as we know there won't be many places in Star Citizen with a 3080 where this sort of result happens in the cities you're definitely going to be GP, CPU bottleneck even but if you're on a lower end card and you're trying to hit high resolutions or, or on a really low end card trying to hit 1080p this technology does do something and you do get more frames. So what to make of all this? Well, as with the Magpie video, the use case in Star Citizen is pretty limited because in most areas of the game, you are limited by your CPU, not your GPU. But if you are running at 4K or if you're running with a lower end GPU at 1080p or 1440p, there are there is a case for this. You, you could use it, and I'd, I'd recommend testing it out. It's so cheap, this, and I, it feels a bit more official than the Magpie utility. And obviously, it's got a couple of extra settings as well that we looked at. The quality, obviously, is not quite as good as native. We've looked at that, and that's what we said last time. But I'd say, especially at the higher resolutions, it's comparable. And again, I would say you, you'd normally prioritize uh, smoothness and a bit a few more frames over image quality, but not everybody would agree with that. But anyway, 
the thing we're obviously waiting for, as we said again last time, was that we want eventually for CRG to implement this into Star Citizen natively, so we're not hacking it in like we are here, really. So that will come, I'm sure. It's not really the time for that. They're still working on lots of core fundamental engine things. Gen 12 renderer, Vulkan. There we go. We've mentioned it every single video for the last year. But it is that stuff is coming, and I'm sure once those things are being implemented, we'll see FSR in some sort of way, or DLSS, or Intel have even got their own image upscaling technology as well. So I'm sure those things will come into the game eventually, as we said last time. But for now, if you're looking for a few extra frames, this is a decent shout. If you like that, give it a like. You can subscribe if you like this more technical look at Star Citizen. And you can even now join the channel and become a member. And I'll see you soon. Bye.